All right. Hello. It is time for another unboxing of a Final Fantasy figure. Uh, this one. So the box arrived right before I went on vacation. I was like, no, I'm going to have to wait till I'm like back from vacation to open this. But I am back. And so now we're going to do this together. And I already know who it is. It is Sidolphus Telemon, Sid from Final Fantasy 16. And I don't think many people would argue with the fact that Sid is one of the greatest characters in Final Fantasy 16. Thank you kindly. He's just hilarious. His voice actor is phenomenal. Oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Yep, here we go, Sid. And here we go. Now, I already have Clive, but I don't have Sid yet. Oh, the box is even colored differently. Check it out. Oh, nice. Sidolphus Tillman. So he's number four. This is the Bring Arts action figure. And I... <laughs> So when I ordered Clive and Sid, I also have Alphano and Ali Say coming and uh, Joshua too. I did not know that they were only six inches tall. I thought they were as big as my other figurines, like back there. But I was educated by the YouTube universe. And now I know. But yeah, this guy was about $144 in the box. They've got him all colored like Ramu with the lightning there. Ugh, Sid is so good. Sid is so good. He brings so much good comic relief to Final Fantasy 16 that actually, spoiler alert, when he dies, only a third or so through the game, the entire tone of the game changes. And it's such a bummer, because also Clive and Sid really played off each other. Those two voice actors did Ben Starr and... Oh my gosh, what's the Sid actor's name? Oh, Ralph Innocent. Duh. Yeah, so Ben Starr and Ralph, Ralph Innocent play off each other super well in this game. They're phenomenal voice actors already. And I mean, all of the actors in Final Fantasy 16 are good. But these two were fantastic. Some Japanese. All right. So he is, he's little, like he's, he's a small little guy, you know, so, but he looks, he looks so good, even through the plastic. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so down here, we've got the stand. So he actually comes with a stand. Oh, Clive does too, forgot. All right. See if he has as many little plastic wispies as Clive did. Oh, I can just hear his theme music as I'm opening this. The character is so well done. Okay, so we have we have his sword. Let's see if the camera will focus on that. Nope. It wants to stay on my face. Okay. Whatever. Sword. And just like Clive, it appears he comes with multiple hands. Oh, now it's focusing. Comes with multiple hands. So you can pose him in different ways. Okay. Here's his smaller sword. I don't even remember him having this sword. Clearly I paid close attention to his weapons. Okay. So he's all covered in plastic. Should we try and take this off like right here? Okay, and that piece comes off easy. With Clive, I was like, I was like pulling little pieces out from his armor and I swear I was going to break him. Oh, we've got a little bit of that here too, though. Okay, so it's back on Sid. Yes. Mm 
No, here we go. Ah! I, I guess you just pull these off. Am I supposed to cut them? Is this arm gonna come off? Is it supposed to come? I, I don't, maybe I'm supposed to cut these. We're just like, okay, there we go. There's one. Doesn't have as many as Clive, thank goodness. And of course the Bring Arts figures, while they are small, they're extremely detailed and they are posable. So if you like that, which I frankly don't really care, I just like them to be in a good pose, but some people really like that because I mean, he moves really well. Like those cheap action figures from the eighties that had like two poses. Yeah, no, not this. This thing can pose in multiple different ways. And it's real smooth the way you transition him. He looks, he looks exactly like Sid. It's crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh. He looks, he looks so good. He looks incredibly good. Okay. You guys have to see how good he looks. Come on, camera. Check him out. Look at this. And like, you can really put like his wrists move. His elbow moves, his arm, he, he moves in all the joints that like a human moves, which I guess that's why you, what you paid $144 for. But his face, I don't know if I can get the macro focus on his face, but he looks so dang good. Oh my gosh. Clive did too. And his, like his waist, he turns a little bit. See that? His knees. His ankles. I'm, these are really crappy poses <laughs> that I'm doing here, but you get the idea. Let's see his head. It's really, really. He's he feels really solid while still being movable. I'm just so impressed. I'm gonna see if I can try and get a close up on his face with this camera, but I'm gonna have to stand on a stool because my rig is really high quality here. Whoa as I fall on my face. I don't know if you can see him. Still kind of blurry, but see that? So amazing. He looks straight out of the game. That's so amazing. Oh my goodness. So, I don't know, I'm impressed. I Again, now that I know to expect it to be six inches tall, <laughs> you know, and cause Clive is six inches tall too. Here's Clive. Here's Sid. Come on, focus. There we go. So same size. They both come with stands, which is pretty cool. And then I have Joshua coming too, but I don't know when next to Shiva. Come on, focus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Shiva. I don't know. I'm impressed. Now that I know that he's supposed to be six inches tall, and so I expected him to be in this tiny little box in instead of, you know, in a big box like I'm used to with my Final Fantasy VII figurines. Aside from maybe wanting him to be a little bit bigger, I really couldn't complain about this. He looks so good. He moves so good. He feels solid. It's a really, really good action figure. Bring Arts does amazing work. I just wish they weren't $144, but you know, I guess you're getting that special craftsmanship to make them look as good as they do. So, you know, if you can afford it and you're a big fan, this is a really nice piece for your collection. And yeah, long live Sid.